How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Institutional investors just bought the crypto dip. I want to show you the surprising info we just got. There's a new report that just came out by CoinShare, so I'm going to show you that. I want to also show you a couple other big pieces of information from around the web. And I'm going to keep this short. Everyone seems to be loving these short videos. So if you like that, please hit subscribe and hit the like button so I know. Also, you can feel free to leave it in the comments too. Before we get started though, I did want to say thank you to Unstoppable Domains. They're a partner of the channel. And, and I want to give away something. So I'm giving something away that's worth about $450, give or take right now. So on my Twitter, I will go put the information on how to get this free NFT, but I'm partnering with Killas, so they are an NFT that I actually bought before I even you know, started talking with them, but they are giving passive rewards. So the more Killas you own, the more passive income you get from the volume of their trading. So when they sell, you get a small portion of that Ethereum. Now they're still working out all the details, but go follow my Twitter. It's underneath the video. I'll link right to this post uh, and you can get the free NFT. So I want to thank the killers. Definitely check them out. Of course, I can't guarantee anything because NFTs are crazy, but definitely check them out in the video description. So I moved around real quick before we get into the info because there's a nasty echo. So hopefully this is a little bit better. But JP Morgan Chase CEO says Bitcoin price could rise 10x and they still wouldn't buy it. So Jamie Dimon, we know has been, I don't wanna say manipulating the market and I don't wanna make any claims, but we've seen JP Morgan Chase manipulate in the past. I've laid out everything that they've been doing recently, which is, hey, if there's fear in the market, they release a negative article saying Ethereum's overvalued by 50%. They've done this in the past. They want their, they want their wealthy clients to get in on it while it's cheap. And now he's saying that Bitcoin price could rise 10X and he still wouldn't buy it. So it's fascinating to watch a lot of these bigger companies say that they're not gonna buy it. He says that it's a waste of time and people waste too much breath on it. He doesn't care if it could go 10X in the next five years, he doesn't care. However, in January, they purchased 10% of MicroStrategy. Now I have a feeling they're not buying it for the software company. <laughs> it's, it's fascinating because remember, they own Morgan Stanley or they're part of Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley bought 10% MicroStrategy. Now they have 5% now, but still a large portion of MicroStrategy is owned by JPM. Let's not forget that. Now they have uh, a large portion that's owned by a lot of the other big investment firms, BlackRock, Capital International Investors, Vanguard. We have a lot of people that want a piece of it and they're not interested. Fascinating, fascinating stuff. Uh, so I just want to cover that. It's hilarious to see this. Every few days, it seems like JPM's doing something sketchy. And then we also have XRP. Ripple CEO says that he's open to settling the XRP case with the SEC. So he is willing to settle with the SEC if they clearly define the regulatory status of XRP. Now, this would be great for XRP. This would be really important for them to get over this. And it would really push this in the rear view mirror and we could see them return to their highs of you know upper threes. Now that being said, there are a lot of people that just hold a little bit of XRP in case they win the case, but they're not really interested long-term in them. So what I think they're really trying to do is make sure that there's no question at all. They can't go back and try to go after them again. Basically make them define them as not a security. Because the thing is, if they, if there is any question in people's minds, investors will be worried. So they just want to get this in the past and just be done with it. They're willing to pay for a slap on the wrist if they can get over this and move on from here. With that being said, I also want to cover because we were just talking about some large buyers or some large buyers of, of uh, micro strategy. I want to cover some big buys that happened recently from investors. So this is the digital asset fund flows weekly from coin shares. So this looks at large buys. We can see weekly crypto asset flows, 95 million. Now this is one of the largest that we've seen in a while. It actually doubled the week before and you can see we had a lot of negative flows and now we have some more positive flows. So this is showing some big money flowing into some different cryptocurrencies and I can actually show you what they're buying. So Bitcoin, $50 million worth. Ethereum, 29 million, makes sense. Those are the two largest cryptocurrencies. But then we have Solana, which is 3.9 million. So a lot of large money, a lot of big money is still buying Solana. 
Cardano 2.6, Polkadot 2.4. So these are what the large money's buying. They want, they want exposure to these. Now, this is actually, like I said, a lot larger than the week before. We actually have the week before coming in and they only had about $42 million of inflows and they had about 15 million in Bitcoin. So Bitcoin inflows increased over 3X. Uh, so that is a pretty good increase in Bitcoin. We saw about four and a half X coming to Ethereum. Now, with that being said, we don't know what's gonna move, what's gonna happen next, but it is interesting to watch with all the Evergrande fear, uncertainty and doubt, with all the fear of the Fed raising rates or tapering bond purchases, with all that going on, big money is buying. Big money is buying crypto. So I want to cover that for you because whatever they say is not necessarily what they're doing. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, check out the description. If you want a free NFT, you can get entered into win that. Thank you again to the killers. Thank you for our unstoppable domains and to BlockFi in case you want an interest rate on your crypto. Thank you for hitting the like button and the subscribe. And I think I've told you enough things to do now. Have a great day. Bye.